All right. I'm going to teach you how to write congruency statements. We have um, two figures here, and the figures are congruent, which means that this figure A, B, C, D is the same size and the same shape as E, F, G, H. If two figures are congruent, they are the same size, they are the same shape, so therefore they're going to have congruent parts. And so we're going to go through and find the congruent parts right now. So if I look at angle A, angle A has one arc drawn. So I'm going to go over here to the other figure and I'm going to find the angle that has one arc drawn. So angle A is congruent to angle E. Angle B has two arcs drawn. So I'm going to come over here to this figure and find the angle that has two arcs drawn. That's going to be angle F. Angle C has three arcs drawn. So I'm going to come over here to this figure and find the angle that has three arcs drawn, and that's going to be angle G. Angle D has four arcs drawn. So I'm going to come over here to this ang uh, figure, and I'm going to find the four arcs, and that's going to be angle H. Now I'm going to look for congruent sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically use my arcs. I'm going to start with A and go to B. So I'm going to start with the first angle that has one arc and go to the second angle that has two arcs because that's A, B. It also has a congruency mark. This one has one mark and this one has one mark. So you'll notice that EF also goes from the first angle to the second congruent angle. So these congruency marks are going to be super helpful. So AB is congruent to E, which has one arc, F, which has two arcs. So this is going to be AB is congruent to EF. All right, so now we're going to go over here and find BC. BC has two congruent marks, and we'll come over here and find the two congruent marks, FG. FG. CD has three congruent marks, and GH has three congruent marks. You'll notice that C is congruent to G, so since this line segment starts with C, I'm going to need to start the second congruent line segment with G. So this is going to be line segment GH. And finally, we have DA. This has four congruent marks, so we're going to look for the four congruent marks. D, it starts with, so I'm looking for the angle that has the four arcs, four arcs, so it's going to be line segment H, E. And that's how we do congruent statements.